Alright, hey there Proxians, this is Prox right here, and guys, welcome back to another episode of the Pokemon Pearl Wedlock, and in the previous episode, guys, we basically went and headed on over here to Velstone City, uh, but before actually heading on over to Velstone City, we actually went and bowed out the Ace Trainers, uh, that was just before heading on over to, uh, Velstone, and they were actually pretty annoying, uh, and, and that was also, too, uh, with the vanilla Pokemon that they also have, because, like, uh, if you guys don't know, unfortunately, I kind of screwed up on this randomizer file, and I forgot to randomize out the trainer's Pokemon by mistake uh, so we actually had to go and face out the actual Pokemon that were vanilla and uh, that team in particular uh, with that vanilla team is super annoying because of the Monferno, the Glameow, the Gyarados and with having both the Glameow and the Monferno both together are not a good combination at all because the Glameow just keeps on growling you and keeps on lowering your attack while the Gyarados keeps on thrashing around and just tries to destroy your Pokemon and that's exactly what happened to Jumpluff because if you guys don't uh, if you guys do see on the bottom of our screen here, unfortunately Jump Puff is not going to be here, unfortunately, and uh, we don't have a partner for Arcanine, so unfortunately Arcanine is just going to be left out for the time being. But not to worry, I have been doing a little bit of some off-record grinding as well, which I can go and show that off to you guys. Uh, I actually brought Myers all the way up to level 24 and also Dumbo up to level 22. I believe now Dumbo is actually using uh, the actual EXP share now, which that's going to be nice. And I actually did get Izzy over the Quick Claw now as well too, which that is also pretty good. Uh, if that, uh, if at any point if we do decide to do like a double battle once again, uh, Izzy will be uh, good because we actually do have the Quick Claw now set. And Rasha still has the uh, Lucky Egg as well too, and I can't remember exactly what uh, Nitro has. I think he has the leftover still, so everything is still fine. Uh, so let's just go and do a little bit of a team recap so if you guys didn't miss out. Uh, we actually do have Rapture at level 16 with Scary Face, Bowl, Beam, Rage, and Bite. Nitro at level 24 with Bite, Roar, Fire Fang, and Burst. Luke Myers at level 24 with Fan Attack, Confused Ring, Hypnosis, and Dream Eater, and Izzy at level 20 with Scratch, Cut, Helping Hand, and Quick Attack. And we also have Dombo as well, too, at level 22 with Rapid Spin, Knock Off Royal, and Magnitude. And that is everybody on the squad. Now, I think what I'm going to probably do uh, is probably just, hmm, maybe leave Myers up in front, maybe, I don't know. Because I know that we actually do need a male-type Pokemon here for this route in particular. We have no idea what this route is going to be, so uh, I, I did not really... Uh, run into this grass or anything uh, during off recording when I was doing all my battling and whatnot. So we're going to go and see what our male Pokemon is going to be because I remember uh, during the previous route I think we actually got ourselves a Perugly that was actually a female. So let's actually go and see what this grass is going to be here. Hopefully it's going to be something good. And our Pokemon is going to be a T-Tar. Holy moly. And that's going to be a male type too as well. Okay, well, at least we do have Confuse Rays. We can set up also Confuse Rays and some Hypnosis and whatnot. And I don't think T-Tar is really going to do much damage to us. I think T-Tar does have Bane Attack, but... Oh, nice. Okay, so it has Thrash, so we aren't affected by it, because I think we are Park Ghost as well, too, with Spirit Tomb. So there we go. Nice. We're going to just set up on Confuse Ray. So Sandstorm is going to rage. I think we do all actually get buffered by, by the Sandstorm, which that's so weird because we're like a ghost-type Pokemon, and like we can still get buffeted by the, by the Sandstorm. Now, I'm going to also set up Hypnosis as well, too. Hopefully, this T-Tar can also get injured. I'll set up also Screeches, try to lower my defense. Well, I also do have some Ultra Balls that I also did get like off recording. Uh, so I'm going to try and see if that is going to help out. So at least now, um, uh, let's see, come on, get your help, get, uh, get yourself hurt again. He's a set up scary face. So really, from what the moves that we see right now is that he has Thrash, Scary Face, Screech, and that's about it. Alright, here we go, now we're just going to set up on Hypnosis now, and now we can just go and do some Dream Eatering and try to absorb some of our health back. So this is saying Storm is not really doing that too much damage to us anyways. And plus, to, uh, plus I don't even think like uh, T-Tar is even that scary during this type of, uh, in this type of stage right now. Oh, it doesn't affect the T-Tar at all. Okay. Well, I guess what we'll try and do is, uh, I guess we can just throw out like an Ultra Ball or something to see what happens. Probably T-Tar may probably not get into this ball anyways, because it is at full health. 
Oh. Oh. Hold on. Oh my god, we actually got a T-Tar right from full health. Oh my god. That's insane. Wow. I don't know who I'm going to be switching out Pokemons out here for this, but Rock and Dark T-Tar. Nice. Alright, well, I guess what I'm going to name it, uh, after my, uh, after my T-Tar, I'm going to name it Zilla. Zilla is back in action once again. Wow, that is an awesome male encounter here for this route. That is really awesome. And also getting it also at full two, that also makes it really good. All right, now our last stop that we're gonna be making on here into this route is actually gonna be heading on into this cave. Now you can actually find a Hippopotas in here if I can't remember. So that's like the only one Pokemon that I think that you can grab in this place. We also got Cross Poison 2, oh my God. Oh yeah, and also too, uh, as well, which I didn't know, uh, you can, um, uh, for this randomized follow that I have, I can actually put any type of TMs on any of my Pokemon if I want to. So Cross Poison may probably be somewhat pretty useful. But we'll have to race to see who does it faster. Well, I'm not going to really worry about that, dude. Alright, well, we still have Route uh, 214. Uh, I don't know if I should still do a little bit more grinding out here, but uh, got some Rock Smashes. I think there's still a few more other uh, trainers that we can go here and fight. I think there's actually a Pokemon collector that we can do. And I actually kind of want to grind up... Uh, yeah, I think I kind of want to grind up Spirit Tomb all the way up to uh, maybe around level 30. Just so that we can be prepared. Because, like, I don't know if Spirit Tomb is actually going to get Psychic at some point. But hopefully we can. So we're going to start up setting up with a Ponyta up here first. Now, I think Ponyta only just has Ember, right? And I think that's like the only one move that's somewhat kind of scary. But Growl is going to be really annoying too with this Fan Attack going on. Because I don't think Fan Attack is going to do that much damage now. Yeah, it's just only going to do just only half. Oh, and then you're also going to set up Tail Witch too. The two most annoying moves ever in any type of Pokemon game. It's just Tail Whip and Growl. Right, now we brought it down to red, and hopefully this is going to be our time to shine. Point is just going to keep on throwing out uh, the old moves. And there we go, Ponyta is down. Nice. Oh right, yeah, we haven't really uh, encountered a Pokemon yet still in that cave. <laughs> I don't know why I ran, out, ran on out of there though. So he's still got more Ponytas. Ooh, Ember. Uh, how much is that going to do? Nothing. <laughs> Ember's literally not going to do even touch me at all. That's pretty nice. Right, now we brought it down to half this time. Oh, now he's got his own tail whips of his own. Alright, and there we go. Ponyta is down. Now, I do believe that you guys are going to be seeing this, of course, on Friday. Same with also, too, with, I believe you're also going to be seeing a Wario Land 4 uh, Let's Play that's also going to be happening. And uh, if you guys didn't go and check out the uh, the Thursday's video, or as I say, yesterday's video, um, hopefully you guys did go and check that out, because we actually did go and uh, battle out the champ, or, well, we were trying to get ourselves the champion spot over at the, uh, over at the Elite Four, which we did. And we actually went about out how, and uh, how was it all that too bad of a, po uh, of, a of a battle at all? It was actually uh, pretty straightforward. Just gonna set up a super potion up here, just so that I can heal all the way fully back up. Ah, oh, the tail was are just gonna keep on happening. Oh, and then you're going to be set up a Grouse, too. <laughs> no. What is with this, man? Like, uh, if you guys, uh, well, uh, also, too, like, off recording, I was battling out that, uh, that PI trainer that was also here, and I totally forgot that, um, 
that that the PI trainer actually has like three different like Goldies that have Horn Drill, and I thought like for sure like all my Pokemon are gonna like freaking die there, <laughs> because twice the Goldie went out for Horn Drill and it almost killed Rapture, because <laughs> it, it missed twice, which that was like super helpful. All right, here we go. One more fan attack to the face, and this Ponytail is gone. Nice, so level 25, here we come. Come on, give me a good old psychic type move. Oh, Ominous Wind. Okay. Well, let's see, what can I forget out here? Ominous Wind would be somewhat pretty nice and helpful. Um. Has 60. And Fan Attack has 60 as well, too. Now. I would like to have Confuse Ray because that would be somewhat pretty helpful and I really like the Hypnosis and Dream Eater combo. Um, I think what I'm going to probably do is just forget about Confuse Ray and keep Hypnosis. Because I kind of like that, that Dream Eater combo right there. Because like I know that we're going to be battling out uh, Maylene pretty soon and I kind of do need a Psychic type move. So there we go. So the Collector is down, we get some nice good cash as well. And let's just go and head all the way up to the very top, uh, back to the cave once again, and see what our female Pokemon is going to be here. Because I know that I didn't really run into a Pokemon yet, but come on. Where's my Hippotoss encounter? Or Geodude encounter? Ooh. Okay, well, speaking about uh, flying type Pokemon that I may potentially need, Vero is here. I haven't used a Vero in quite a while. And this also has Aerial Ace too, which that's also pretty nice. Oh, oh god, that was pretty close. Okay, so let's go ahead and put this dude to sleep. And we'll just start setting up on Dream Eater so I can get some of my health back. But the Ominous Wind is also going to be pretty nice, because at least we can get some stab boosts out here for, uh, for Myers. Because then that means Dream Eater can actually do a lot better damage and don't kill it. But at least we got most of our health back. Uh, let's go and throw an Ultra Ball out here once again. These Ultra Balls have been working out pretty well. <laughs> got ourselves a T-Tar. So I don't see why not a Fiero cannot get captured out here. Nice. Alright, so Fiero is here. Now I don't know. I don't know what the what my uh, what my situation is going to be. I don't know if I should just switch out Myers and Izzy, and uh, put in uh, put in Fiora and have somebody else here. But um, now who did I? Now I think I did have a Spiro or or, or Pharaoh or Fiora before. Maybe in my Spirit Gold Wedlock or, or uh, yeah, maybe Spirit Gold Wedlock. But I don't know who I named you as. Well, I can't really remember, but we already have one for Delta. We already have Avian, because that's my Star Raptor. Uh, we also have Eva, so then that means, huh? I'm trying to think. Hmm. Well. I don't know. We'll just call you, uh... Oops. I don't know. We're just gonna call you Yugi. <laughs> there we go. We got Yugi, our pharaoh. Okay, let's go and make our way back to Billstone. We don't need to be doing anything else here anymore. Because I'm not going to be heading on down to Pastoria, or, uh, Pastoria City right away. So let's go and make our way back on over to Maylene's place. So let's go and get introduced to uh, Crash Awake and also uh, back over to where Dawn is as well too. Now, if I remember correctly, I think Maylene's gym is a little bit different here. Because I know that in Diamond and Pearl it's kind of 
Um, I think that one is where you actually have to, like, push all the different, like, weird, like, uh, I guess, like, weird, like, ruler type things to, like, move from side to side. And then you also have a little Pokemon Platinum one where you can be able to push all the punching bags and stuff. Which I have to say, the Pokemon Platinum one is a lot better. Alright, where's Crash or Wake out of here, dude? Oh, I guess there's no Crash or Wake out here yet. I guess that uh, only happens only in uh, Pokemon Platinum for the beginning part of it. But I know that we're going to be seeing them pretty soon. Okay, so we got a few battles. Um, let us go... I guess we'll just go and take a care of a few of these karate master karate guys out here. So let's see what type of Pokemon that these guys have. I think most of them, majority of them, mainly have like uh, Machops or Machokes. So this should be uh, pretty nice. So there's a, met uh, a Metatite. Wow, these guys are at level 28. I may probably have to do some off record grinding out here. Oh, really? Detect? Come on. That's... Oh my god, these dudes! Uh, these Metatites and these Detects. That is one move that they should have never even made. Okay, thank god it missed. I think, like, Detect is kind of like, um... It's like Protect. Like, I think you could do it, like, so many times until it, like, misses. Now, I should believe that Dream Eater should actually do quite a bit of damage out here. Alright, let's go and start uh, absorbing some life. Wow, that does a lot of damage. Well, that is pretty nice. But it's like you're still fast asleep. And that should work in our favor. Nice. Metatite is down, and that means we're going to get quite a bit of uh, experience points back. Okay, cool. Okay, let's see. Uh, I guess I can push that to the side. And then I have to make my round out here again. down here. I think if I just push this, something like that, this here, there we go. So we got all the way around this part up here. So that's one side completed. Now, it's all about having to move the other part. Now, I think we have to go from the side, don't we? Now, I think what I'll do is I'll take, um... You know what? I think I'm just going to probably end off this episode here. Uh, so, guys, in the next one, uh, I'm actually going to do some off-record grinding before I go and re uh, take on all these other uh, different uh, karate guys out here so then we can uh, start uh, trying to... Uh, fix, uh, we'll try to basically complete this little uh, puzzle uh, section out here, and then we can go and take care of Maylene in the next one. Uh, so yeah, anyways, don't forget to leave a comment, like, also uh, and also subscribe to the channel if you're new. And I guess, uh, for the comment question of the day, uh, would probably have to be is, um, I don't, uh, what's your favorite, uh, Porygon evolution? Do you guys like, uh, normal Porygon? Do you guys like Porygon 2? Or do you guys like Porygon Z? Let me know in the comments down below, and uh, I'll see you guys then, and peace.